welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jakaira. If you're here for the first time, welcome. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for following. Thank you for subscribing. Um, today I wanted to do a look. I had either two ideas. Basically lingering between maroon and blue or brown and blue. And I think I naturally just went brown and blue because I don't think I've ever done brown and blue together and I don't think I see brown and blue together a lot and I think the two could really work so um, this is just a simple look I think that anyone can do it it's super super easy it doesn't take much and yeah it just it gives a little bit of dramatic as well so if you want to see how I did it if you got something to do this weekend, if you have some holiday parties coming up, you know, Thanksgiving is about to be upon us, and you want to see how I got this look, well, keep on watching. Alrighty, so I have already um, started off by moisturizing my face. I use Ole Henriksen, it's one of my favorites. Um, there's a Nurture Me moisturizer I've already run out of because that one's my ultimate, ultimate favorite. And then um, next to the Nurture Me, the Sea Rush. This one is really good. I've also primed and I've done my eyebrows. For priming, I use the Tatcha primer. This one's really good, it's a silk canvas. Yeah, I don't know if doing my eyebrows and stuff like that can be repetitive, so just didn't want to do them today. But I do have an eyebrow tutorial, so if you do want to see them, if you're like here for the first time and all that good stuff, um, I'll put that link, boom, there it is, right there, and go back and watch that eyebrow tutorial. It's my perfect routine, it's just like works for me and maybe can help you get some tips, but let's get into it. Um, so there's the Friendcation palette by Desi Perkins and Katie. She got together with her best friend and that palette has been really... Um, serving up some good looks. So I think the Frencation palette, 100%, I'm going to use this today. I think also the Kylie Cosmetics Bronze Extended Palette, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Kylie's going to help me out. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eye area and I'm going to put on my P. Louise base and we can get started. I'm actually going to use a dry beauty blender and apply the base on like that's been pretty easy uh, for me and it works well so I will be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow um, gel like her tint I, mine is tinted I just do it at the end because my eyebrows the, the hairs they're just gonna move around all throughout this process I do them and then I do my eyes and everything else and my eyebrows are the very last thing that I set Okay, so I'm going to take my Morphe M506 brush and I'm going to go into the bronze extended palette. Um, there is a brush that comes with it. I'm sure we all know and remember. I'm not going to use that one though. Um, and I'm going to take this and go into, I think I'm going to do this one. And I'm going to just start warming up my crease. keep thinking of looks that are um, easy to do that I feel like when the holidays come up people can actually do them but also there's something maybe that pops about it I just want to find like the easy looks I'm you know here for the everyday girl I definitely do dramatic things but I just know that there's people out there who don't always want to do a bunch of you know things makeup wise and so I just try to think like what I can come up with that is easy What's something super easy, but it looks good. And then also, if you want to go really high, if you want to bring it up, you know, that also will make your eye look different, or versus if you want to stay low, close to your lid, all those different things. You'll get different looks depending on just how far up, how far out, you know. We can also go really far out and make it a cat eye. Like, have fun trying all those things. You want to see, like, what shapes and things work with your eyes, and you'll only get that by just trying them out. Next in the Friendcation palette, I'm going to go into this dark color right here. This brown is really beautiful. Um, this one I want to pat closer to the bottom of my lid and on the outside. I just want to deepen this area right here. kind of want to go for a really nice deep evening look. And I'm kind of going in a V shape. So I am coming down here and going in and then I'm also coming through the crease. Next I'm going to keep that same brush but I am going to clean it off. Alright so clean it off and then there's a very beautiful 
beautiful color right here. This one, I kind of want to go on the outside of what we did. So on the outside, I am going to just barely do little moves and I'm going to work this into the crease as well. And I am going to bring it all the way down. I'm going to cover the lid so it's kind of like the outside and then I'm tucking it in right there. Now I'm going to take my MAC 213 and I'm going to go into this beautiful color right here in that Kylie Cosmetics. It's really beautiful and I just want to pack that right into the middle of my eyeball, right in the center. Now after you've put that in, if you want to go back in and just blend on the outside, you can. Just to make sure that your blending is all looking good on the outside. So just blend out on the outside and make sure that that dark color is still there. Alright, and then clean off the MAC 213 because we're going to go back in with another kind of shimmery highlight metallic color. Um, we're going to go into... Should I use the Kylie? You know what? Actually, let's go into the Frincation palette because this one's really bright. Um, this one right here is a really, really good one. Um, we're going to put that on the inside. We're just going to try to pack that a little bit. Now this texture and the, the formula is a little different. It's a little more flaky and it actually might work better if you wet your brush a little bit. Actually, let me go ahead and do that. The, what I like to do, just, you know, take basically a makeup wipe remover. Um, I don't want to wet my brush too crazy, but I'll add, I basically will act as if I'm cleaning my brush off and that little bit of moisture is good enough and then we'll go into that bright color and we're just going to go on the inner corner. Now I'm going to take my MAC 141S and I'm just going to blend the very outside because I do just want that all to kind of disappear and blend out. And this is clean, there's nothing on here. Um, just take that and blend everything on the outside out so you just have a nice, cool blend. Right now, I'm going to take a makeup wipe remover and I'm just going to get rid of any fallout that has happened because I'm sure there's a lot. Alright, so this look for the most part right now is pretty simple. I mean, it's browns, there's shimmers. This is pretty much what you always see, right? So let's just take it on a, a notch. Let's just go there. After we put on our foundation and do all the contouring and like that, I definitely want to add the blue color underneath and I want to see what that does. I don't think I've ever put brown and blue together. So let's just try it. I'm going to do my foundation and let's see what that blue look like. I'm going to be using Magic Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. This one is really good. I'm coming down the neck for sure with this one um, because the Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit um, what is the word? It's just a little bit I don't know if it's a little bit more yellow than I am, um, but after I do all of my contouring and everything, it gets a little better, but I do want to encourage you to always go down the neck just a little bit because it will help make everything look even. I'm going to be using the Shape Tape by Tarte. This is just a superstar. I'm going to go in with some Benai um, powder, banana powder. I'm going to put that underneath my eyes, also for safety because I believe the blue and the Frankation palette might come on down. So uh, go ahead and put some of that underneath. Alright, so I put a little bit here. We want to cut that, obviously underneath the eyes. And here, you kind of just want to do it wherever you want to highlight, wherever you want it to be snatched for the gotch. Next, I'm going to take my Morphe M508 brush. Um, make sure it's clean, make sure there's nothing on there. We want to get the most out of this blue. 
um, inside of the Frankation palette. So um, taking that and I'm going to dip into this one right here. It's a very, very beautiful blue. I'm going to see if I need to wet it or not. I'm going to see how it works first when it's dry, but if I feel like I need to do it a little bit darker, maybe I can wet it. Looks like it's coming off pretty good. Oh my god, it's such a beautiful little, just a little spark. It just adds just enough. It's just so beautiful. I feel like this blue has like hints of, there's like, there's like purples. God, it's so pretty. Um, now, whenever you do underneath the eyes, I kind of had to learn this. You could keep it very thin. You just have to decide if it was one of them days when you want it to be really thick because it's a matter of how dramatic you want to be. But you don't have to do this line very thick. If you want to bring it down, you can. And however you bring it down, just make sure it matches your eye shape. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe away this first. I don't want this to bake too, 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 too long. Wipe that side away. Wipe this side away. Here and here. And it just adds a nice little set. It's beautiful. Nice and clean. And then I'm gonna tilt forward again just a little bit. You don't have to do this, but I, I like to do it. I'm just gonna tilt forward and slowly wipe to the outside. You tap it off a little bit, um, but just slowly wipe to the outside. And it should be okay. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to do some contouring. I have my faithful little Morphe M439. And I'm just gonna contour my cheeks right here a little bit. Y'all know the drill. Y'all have seen me do this a thousand times. This is Dark Deepest. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. This is like my, um, this is just my perfect color. Something else that is really cool. So this is like an everyday for me to just wear this. I'll show you how you can get it to be just like one, one step mm, dramatic. After you get this first bronze on, Take one color a little bit darker. This is why I love the KKW Highlight and Contour Kit um, because she gives you all those options, the highlight, the there's a light one and the dark one inside the kit. This right here for me, the um, is it Swiss Chocolate? Yeah, Swiss Chocolate by MAC. If you take the darker color, all you do is stamp this in the back. Don't come down, just stamp it in the back. I kind of just go in a little circle back there. My hair wants to join the party. Um, I just stamp that in the back area and it kind of gives you an even more dramatic illusion. You know? It's just slightly different. It's not super crazy, but you see how this side looks? It's more of a natural, right? Every day. And then over here, you just get a little bit more drama. And then with the forehead, I do this one. <laughs> I don't put any Swiss chocolate on my forehead. I don't know if I should, but I have not. That might be djtoomuch.com. Then to contour the nose, I have the MAC 227. This is my favorite right now. I have switched before and used other brushes to contour the nose, but this one right here, I feel like so far is my number one favorite. And I do use that same Dark Deepest from MAC and I just lightly contour whichever way you want to do it and you like the best is up to you. I kind of like to just go on the outside. I do bring it up to the eyebrow, the very beginning I do bring it all the way up. Then depending on how dramatic you want to be, you can do a little cross this way. The contouring has to do with your shape, so I, I try not to get too deep into how to contour the nose. There's certain things that I like to leave to you guys because everybody's face is different. Everybody's face is different. And one thing that may work for someone may not work for the next person. So with contouring, um, it's one of those things. You kind of just have to figure out what areas work best for you. I know the sides are obviously, you know, you do the sides. But it may not look right for everyone to go up to the eyebrow. I don't know. Um, may not. And then sometimes I like to come across here you know, create what I say is a little button nose. I don't know, you just kind of have to find it and play around with it and see what works for you. But, go ahead and contour that nose for the gods. By the way, I have not had my eyebrows done since last video, probably video before that. I've done them, I've done upkeep, but I need to go. 
you go let the lady get it. You know, I'm gonna do something different. So this is obviously shadow. I'm gonna try it, I'm just gonna try it. I'm gonna take my, this is my Morphe M438, and I'm gonna go and choose this one in the bronze extended. And let's see if I can highlight it. Ooh, I can! Not that bad. And with highlight, just do as much um, as you are comfortable with. Some people like a lot, some people like a little. You highlight to your liking. Now I'm going to put on my lashes. I'm gonna do those off camera per usual. Just takes me a second. And then I'll be right back. Alrighty, lashes are done. Y'all know that's my favorite part. They really just bring the look together. Um, today's lashes are the Layla lashes um, by Lily Lashes. With my Morphe M508, the one that we used to go under with the blue, um, I'm gonna just take this color and I'm gonna put that on the inside of my eyes just to give a little bit of highlight and spark and cuteness. Just a teeny bit of liner. I just wanna make sure I line just a little bit. I wanna get the inner corner and bring it in to the lashes. It just helps it look a little more and then for the waterline, I'm going to use Fascinating. This is the eyeliner. This is the Eye Coal by MAC. And make sure your hands and everything are clean. I try to do my liner before, but I didn't know if I wanted to put anything inside of my waterline, but I do. Now that I'm like looking at it, I want to use white, and I just want to open up the eyes just a little bit. So being as careful as you can, um, just line the waterline, and that should open up the eyes even more and give them a nice fun holiday sparkle. All right, so now to finish off everything for the lips, I have Aftermath, and this is from the Desi and Katie. This is their second go around still. This is like the same thing that came with the Friendcation palette. Um, Aftermath was really pretty to me. I just love a good brown or bronze or neutrals. Like it's just gorgeous. So I'm gonna put on Aftermath. Look at it, it's just perfect, right? I feel like this is a perfect brown for any skin color. I really do. I mean, I feel like you could get so many looks off with this. It could be every day, it could be evening, it could be like, like aftermath is just so great. The last thing I wanna do, like I said, I kinda set my eyebrows at the end because as you can see, they move around, they go everywhere. But um, I'm just gonna put some eyebrow gel on here. Just gonna make sure these are together and we're pretty much done. And that's the look. I hope y'all like it. Thank you so much, YouTube family. Um, the numbers are growing. I'm excited. Keep telling a friend to tell a friend. Keep watching me. Keep supporting. I love y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this look today. Enjoy your Friday. Whatever weekend plans you have, enjoy them. Find your frequency and feel 